all of the very loud answers for you. These bad boys are drifting go-karts and driving them is pretty close to the real thing. Cam, this looks like so much fun and they're just like your everyday road cars, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, very relevant here in the way that you drive around the truck. You've, you've, you've got to use the brake, you've got to apply the throttle gingerly, you can't just drive it around flat out the whole way. And they're actually specifically designed to slide around the whole track, which is awesome. That's right, yeah, we put a lot of effort into the surface of the track to make it very relative to the scale. So, uh, you know, like on the road, you can't just drive a car flat out the whole way around here. You've got to be nice and gingerly on the brake and, and nice and steady on the throttle. And the best news, you don't have to be driving age to join in on the fun. Cam, give us a lowdown. What's the best way to tackle this track? Smooth and steady. You want to be very smooth in the way you apply the brake and the way you apply the throttle. And you don't want to sort of seesaw at the wheel. You just everything's in a nice, fluid, smooth transition. Smooth just like steady. real race car. Exactly. Smooth and steady always wins a race. Absolutely. <laughs> Attendants with flags stand at the side of the track to prevent pile-ups. OK, Cam, tell us where are the flags on the track located? OK, so we have three uh, main attendants always here, sometimes up to four. Got one over in the far corner, another one above us, and the other guy actually floats around this section with the pit area. But the only flag they use is a blue flag, which is for passing or overlapping. Failing that, we actually uh, the only centre in the world that has full live LED track lights the whole way around. Uh, if they go red, you've got to stop. If it flashes yellow, it's uh, you know, caution. Someone spun out, no passing. And of course, what we want to see is the green. That being said, let's hit the track. Yeah, that was so much fun. How'd I go? Mate, you did really good. For your first go, honestly, practice makes perfect. Yep. You want to just try and work on being as smooth as you can, but for your first go, I reckon you've done excellent. We should see what the time board says. Yeah, oh, that sounds good to me, but um, I, think, I think you have me here. And for good reason, too. You've actually got a world record, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Guinness World Record, 24 hours for the greatest uh, distance covered. And we did 730 or 40 k's, wow. I think it was. And uh, yeah, it was a big effort, that's for sure. With the training and the preparation up to something so extreme like that, it's literally about the simulation and getting actually hours in the cart, isn't it? It is, and uh, much like getting the speed out of the go-kart, the actual way to drive fast is to actually just be relaxed. Well, we don't have 24 hours right now, but what we do have is we have about three minutes to get back out there, and let's see who can do the most laps in those three minutes. Absolutely, so let's, let's get on. It. I yep. think I know who's going to win. <laughs>